morning and welcome to the What's Up News Network being broadcast from Panama City Beach, Florida, the home of the world's most beautiful beaches. I am Jim Free with Jim Free Realty. Please click on the subscribe button just below the picture. In the local news in the Panama City Herald, it is no secret that homes in Bay County are expensive compared to the area's medium household income. But just how much have the prices increased since the start of the COVID pandemic? According to Charlie Commander, manager of Century 21 Commander Realty, it is significant with the average sales price for local homes rising 20 to 30 percent depending on its location in Bay County. And it's likely that skyrocketing trend could continue through this year, in the real estate experts say with practically no homes for sale in Bay County under 300,000, Susan West, the president of the Central Panhandle Association of Realtors, said there is no denying it is extremely difficult for locals to find affordable housing. West said she also had noticed home prices drastically escalating since the start of the COVID-19 pandemic contributing to rising trend in the local market that began in the aftermath of Hurricane Michael, a Category 5 storm that destroyed many homes in Bay County on October 10, 2018. In our newsletter, which we have been publishing for the last 19 years, we, have sent out, we send out over 40,000 copies each month. The name of our new newsletter is Lost Deal, and we have several people contact us each month asking what Los Dio means. It is simple Latin phrase that only has seven letters but has a powerful message. Los Dio transcribed means praise be to God. The Washington Monument was started in 1848 and was completed in 1888. The words Los Dio are inscribed on the very top of the monument pointing toward heaven and overlooking the capital of the United States of America. All right, for some stories on the lighter side. Now, we don't have a bank in Booger Holler, but we do have some nice banks in Cedartown, Rome, and Cave Spring. During the pandemic, most of the banks made it very difficult to transact business without making an appointment. And, of course, you would have to mask up, sometimes double mask and a face shield, I really think it was more likely a move on the big banks to trim down their payroll because it certainly was not about customer service. I felt like Jesse James because on one appointment I was masked up and I forgot that I had my Glock 40 caliber concealed under my coat. I did ask the customer service rep what she would think if they had a robbery and the police department told them that due to COVID, they would have to make an appointment, and the next opening that they would have would be 2.30 p.m. the next day. She agreed that this whole thing is crazy. Well, the banks are now open, and that brings me to my story. My Aunt Evelyn, who is her in her 80s, went to the bank to withdraw $10 from her account. The young teller said, Ma'am, the bank rules require that any withdrawals less than $100 must be made at the ATM machine. Evelyn objected, saying it would cost her $4 to withdraw $10. The young teller was getting impatient and asked Evelyn to step aside because there were customers in line behind her. Evelyn said, well, I would like to withdraw all my savings. The teller said okay and pulled up Evelyn's account. Then the teller leaned over and said, Ma'am, you have over $1 million in your account, and we don't have that much money in this branch office. You will have to make an appointment with one of our officers to close the account tomorrow. Evelyn said, What is the maximum I can withdraw today? The teller said $5,000. Evelyn said, I will take that in 10s and 20s. The teller goes to the vault and counts out $5,000 in 10s and 20s. Evelyn put $10 in her purse and then tells the teller she would like to make a $4,990 deposit. 
the moral of this story, if there is one, that we old folks have lived long enough to learn how to get around you whippersnappers. Since I have gotten off on talking about family, I might as well tell you about Aunt Vera and Uncle Freitas. Their children and grandchildren were visiting, and Vera told Freitas, It will take a whole hog to feed this bunch breakfast. Why don't we just carry them over to Cracker Barrel and feed them? Unfortunately, we do not have a Cracker Barrel in Booger Holler. So they all loaded up, drove to Cartersville to the nearest Cracker Barrel. Cracker Barrel was having a promotion where they were giving away prizes and you could see if you had won anything by looking on the bottom of your coffee cup. After they had received their order, Veer jumped up and started screaming, I won, I won, I won. Freda said, My word, Vera, what did you win? She said, I won a Winnebago. We can now go on vacation in style. The manager, hearing all the commotion going on in the dining room, came out of the kitchen and said, Lady, what is going on? Vera said, I won a Winnebago. The manager looked at the cup and he said, Lady, it says you win a bagel, not a Winnebago. Well, there you go. Vera and Fraser won't be eating at the Cracker Barrel for a while. You may have noticed we recently had Groundhog Day. Well, apparently the groundhog saw his shadow, so we're going to have six more weeks of winter weather. My Cajun friend and producer, Billy Mac Richard, told me the alligator saw his shadow, and we will now have six more weeks of gumbo. So there you go. All is not lost. Touching on government spending, when NASA started sending astronauts into space, they quickly discovered that ballpoint pens would not work in zero gravity. To combat this problem, Congress approved a program and NASA scientists spent a decade and over $165 million developing a pen that writes in zero gravity, upside down, and almost on any surface at temperatures ranging from zero to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. The Russians just used a pencil. Your tax due, taxes are due in April. In the National, President Biden and New York Mayor Eric Adams think the crime problem is guns. But Granny says the problem isn't guns, it's hearts without God and homes without discipline. The Winter Olympics is beginning in China, and the Chinese Communist Party is doing everything it can to undermine the American way of life, and they are not alone. Their partners in this project aren't just spies. It's not none other than some of our politicians, former politicians, business leaders, sports figures, actors, actresses, members of the science community, and academic elites that are doing the bidding for the CCP. Some of these individuals and the businesses appear to have sold out our country too. They that is well known for its human right violation and releasing a pandemic on the world that is responsible for millions of deaths worldwide and then refuse to cooperate in an investigation to find the source of the virus. This past week, the Speaker of the U.S. House of Representatives warned the U.S. Olympic athletes not to speak out against the CCP. When you think about those individuals and businesses doing the CCB, CCP bidding, you have to think of NBA and LeBron James, Nike, Apple, Amazon, Intel, American Universities, Walt Disney Company, and of course the Biden family. The only bright star in this mess is the U.S.-based Women's Tennis Association, who was willing to stand up to the Communist Party of China the WTA suspended its Chinese operations after a Chinese tennis player was quasi-imprisoned after she accused former Premier, Vice Premier Zhang Gilo of sexual assault. 
the World Tennis Association sacrificed growth and revenue in a lucrative market because there was something the communists could not buy from them. Decency, dignity, and truth. I don't consider myself a traitor, but taking inventory of my home and office, I might well be a hypocrite. You see, I own five Apple Macs, three iPads, one laptop, two iPhones, and I just ordered an Apple Watch and a new iMac. Most of my furniture, some of my clothes, some of my food, and all of my hand tools came from China. Shame on me. Fear not, little children. If you are a Christian, you have nothing to fear. When negative news surrounds us in a 24-hour news cycle and you feel like you're drowning in life, don't worry. Your lifeguard walks on water. Don't forget to watch us on YouTube and Rumble. Until we meet again, may God bless you, your family, and this great nation that we live in.